Welcome back to Victoria 3, the Divergences mod. We're playing the Dual Monarchy. At the Mountains of Madness. Wait. The terror expedition spots the twin volcanic peaks of Erebus and Terror in the horizon when they first when they were first discovered by James Clark Ross, Erebus was discovered to be in eruption. Thankfully we find the mountains at peace. We could collect samples. We could move on. Or we can reach the, uh, no, that's a, I'm not taking that chance. These expeditions are way too expensive for me to be doing something like that. Alright, you can be promoted. You're 88 years old, you'll be fine. There's no one in the South India HQ. Oil fired power plant. Okay, how much oil are we making? And can we make our power plants better with it? Oil will go up stupid high. The price of electricity will plummet. And it will employ less people. That's what we want, though. Alright. <laughs> More whaling. As much whaling as we can do, we're gonna drive him to extinction. Alright, we don't need all this electricity, do we? Yeah. We're just gonna do whaling stations. Sugar is in demand. That's interesting. Yes, it is. Very interesting. Alright, um... Bornu! Guess what, player? You're gonna be my puppet. Dog meat? I guess so. You gotta do what you do. I'm gonna puppet Kano as well. Oh, I bet that makes my infamy go up. Yes, it does. Alright, let me see here. Southern Africa. Boop. I got a Niger command. I understand there's like a... Yeah, you could just warp them. It's so stupid. It's so stupid how that works. Yeah, you could just warp them. I don't know if the AI knows how to do that, but I do. Bicycle messengers, but that would cost tools and rubber. But I get better. Yeah, let's do that actually. So let's beef up our rubber production. Because we are making a, a good good bit of rubber. And tools. Alright, we fell to second place. Burgundy's probably got a lot of power projection. We will find a new route, or we'll be taking the Trans-Antarctic Mountains. Uh, I don't know, we'll take a new approach, I guess. Alright, uh, Scandinavia, will you go away? Scandinavia, please. So, actually... There we go, there's two fronts now. One in Scandinavia. Where did it go? Why are you there? Go there! Film! I can do film. Forty battalions are in reserve. I'm sure they are. I'm sure they are, SpongeBob. Uh, 
I can do a film. I can do electric street lighting, which will cause electricity to really go up in price, and the coal, price of coal to plummet. I'll get more services. More engineers, that's kind of what I want, actually. Uh, public transportation. Covered, yeah, that's, that's good, that's what I want. Um, can you? Photographic art? Do that. I've done the film, the moving picture. Did oh okay. Okay, I didn't get both all of what I wanted, which is stupid, but I got some of it. can at least start colonizing there. Anyway. So there's that. Rising concern. Raising concerns. Intelligentsia. Pasteurization. Intelligentsia. And the industrialists. Uh, yeah, why not? Conveyors! Ooh! Alright, let me look at what we're doing. Sugar. Motors, iron. Can I do anything with iron? I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna make a steam donkey for the iron. And then we're gonna just beef up iron production. Reset bicycles, I believe. Ooh, field hospitals, extra tools and opium. We, we don't have a good domestic source of opium, unfortunately. Psychological warfare! I don't like the trade unions. How dare you try to command the military and what to do. Let's see what we can do here, huh? Child labor allowed, that's right, we restricted it. I just think that's so funny. We could do it. Closed borders. The industrialists won't like that. I mean, they want a source of cheap domestic, cheap labor, you know. This might actually be... Get multiculturalism, radicalize the church, but the church is marginalized. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll make a truly democratic and progressive society. For a safe and secure society. Uh, sugar. We're working on the Eiffel Tower. I don't know what it does. I think it just employs people. Might give you some prestige. I need more wine. Are we done with the Antarctic expedition? Alright! We got dreadnoughts. That's cool. Lay the foundations for the skyscraper. the phones, of course. Oh, we can only build it there. Uh, whatever. Our taxation is suffering. Telephones. Telephones. That would cost us a lot of money. A lot of money. Holy bagonkers. But we would get a stupid amount of taxation. And bureaucracy. Let's do it. Let's just torpedo everything. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna build up our electronics industry. Our electrics. That's what we're doing. Let's go. Let's do it.
The fascist and liberal party is informed, okay. I got 82 things left in the... Expand the applications of the telephone. Yeah, do that. Lower the price of the phone so it's not bleeding me dry. Institutions. Oh, I could do more social security. I think I'll do more colonial growth. Still don't understand why that's like that. But whatever. Uh, I don't want to increase welfare. Our economy is booming, look at that. Alright, our infamy is down somewhat, so let's continue with our expansion. You are cordial, so you are not. You could be my puppet. Sure, Plantagenet, Plant Plantagenia. You could be my uh, my empress is eighty years old. I didn't know she was an empress. I didn't know we were an empire. I guess I did. I just didn't really internalize that. Just kind of ignored it. We urbanized our land. Uh, cool, cool. Definitely what we wanted. Yeah. We're still working on getting rid of all these peasants. Lots of tools. Tools are always in demand. Explosives. Furniture. Alright, furniture! I could lower the cost of people working in them and more precision tools, which will cause wood to go down. Hardwood to go up. More shopkeepers. Okay. I don't really have very many furniture factories. An absent mind. A doctor needs him. Of course. The radical party and the fascists have won. Hmm. Okay, well, we'll get the fascists out of there. Radicals. Trade unions want to join the radicals. There we go. Oh, look. You're my guy now. Okay. Cool. Um, you. Sorry I had to do this to you, kind of, Borno. But, uh, it's just good business, you know? Build dreadnoughts. I don't have any radios. I don't think anyone can build radios. The South Pole, we did it! Wait, no we didn't. Now they have to get back home. <laughs> now they have to come home. A Kisi voice. Quality starts here. Sure. Well, we're getting rid of our peasants. Wood. We need more wood. Alright, so. Logging. Chainsaws. Cause oil to go up in price. Rail transport. It just uses less laborers. Beef up our wood production. We're not making much wood. Glass. Always need more glass. Missed the mark. They overshot in their route towards the next supply depot. Turn back. Lose progress. Good job, guys. Good job. I'm glad. I'm glad you did something like that. I'm glad you're stupid. Am I still constructing that skyscraper? Somewhere. Somewhere in my queue. My queue is huge. may need to build more construction depots.
I really want to do this, but that would be a lot of money. But I do have a big investment pool. It's not getting as much money as it as I'd like, because laissez fair doesn't count for agriculture, which is stupid. It annoys me. Well, we got multiculturalism. And now the landowners are angry. But they're marginalized, so... What else can we do to upset them? Proportional or... Alright, so there's... What, uh, tax dividends. This one is less income. Actually, let's see. Laws. So you can do gra graduated... I would lose money on graduated taxation. Why? Per capita is a land tax, per capita tax. So they get rid of the per capita tax. They keep the income tax. The consumption tax stays the same. I get a 35% dividends tax. This one raises the income tax. Consumption, but I also get a dividend tax. Yeah. Landowners don't like that, but I don't care what the landowners have to say. This protest must be had. How happy are the trade unions? Uh, I know I said I would try to marginalize trade unions, but I'm taking the path of least resistance. Uh, what's my infamy? 70. Conveyors! Ooh. Um, mechanized farming? How expensive is oil? Not terribly expensive. Electronics. Border crossing! I could just absolutely... I don't... yeah. Oh, they border me. I just noticed that. That's funny. In my economy is gigantic. I don't care about Albania. I'm sorry, Albanians, but I don't care about you. I'm going to say it again. Institutions. Multilateral alliances. That's interesting. Rousing speech captivates the public. Of course. What am I getting? Oh yeah, taxation. <laughs> Better taxation methods. I forgot. A lot of stuff. The Kuba. Oh, would you look at that? Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Well, well, well. Looks like we got ourselves a good old fashioned war. I have a Congo HQ, don't I? Yes. What do they want? They want Bass Congo and Kasai. They're not gonna get it, but they can try. We'll find a new route. Ah, one of my admirals died. Sinned. They want. Hmm. What's my debt? A lot. <laughs> A lot. Explosives. Brine electrolysis. I can make more explosives. Electricity will go up. Huh. There's a strange rock. We'll study this strange rock and see what happens. Pew, 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 pew,
pew pew. I Mara. People are migrating to my lands. Oh, I won. Okay. Pneumatic tools. Bureaucratic imbroglio. Uh, yeah, we'll do that. Touching the sky. Build a skyscraper. I can declare more interests. The Nile, of course. I would like Egypt to become my protectorate, but they won't. start building up the wood industry. Now that I've increased, I don't think phones are too expensive, are they? What are the price of phones? They're actually pretty low, so you know what? We'll actually get rid of all of this, because they don't need to be built. I know I spent all that time on them, but that's how that's what happens. And uh oh yeah. I think I screwed up building furniture factories. Uh yeah, I got rid of a couple. Alright, we're building logging camps. Don't no, take too long to build. And they're good. Ha! Stupid Kuba. I just need to start colonizing that. Opium addiction. I'm sorry, guys. War gaming, so I can build better artillery. Makes me wonder. 55.3k. They'll both go up. You know what? Let's reduce the price of both. Ammunition. Let's build more ammunition plants. We don't have enough. And. Let me see. Arms factories. We can build more artillery. The cost of small arms. I do have oil. Small arms will go up, more people will be employed, and these guys will do that as well. Now, let's see if we can't use more artillery. Okay, good, good. Oil is now expensive. So, I believe we have all the whaling stations we can build, but we have a little trickety trick up our sleeve. Okay, that's not a trick to trick. That doesn't get us any more oil. It just makes it so... <sighs> they make more money, but they're already making money. Lame. Okay, well, it looks like we've reached our capacity for oil. <laughs> we can't build any oil rigs. Nobody has any oil. Nobody's building up their industry like that. Yeah, proportional taxation, yay! <laughs> Lucien de Pessigny. There you are, we'll promote you. Right off the bat, 42 years old, you get to be a major general. Lieutenant general, wh whatever you are. I think a major general. Alright, now, since we have more taxes, switch construction to that, I guess. Yeah. We'd be better at building stuff. I'm 
dun 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 More glass and steel. Alright, steel. Just more steel! Sind is now independent. Well, Scandinavia, you suck. <laughs> You're trash. <laughs> Low market access. Yeah, I bet. Where do I get out of this? I get more transport, which is less infrastructure. I don't want lower infrastructure. I need the infrastructure. The colonies are ugly because the borders are all screwed up. Alright, can I increase that? I, I could, but I don't really want to. In fact, I want to spend all this money on better stuff. Motorized. Just don't have the oil for it. Ammunition, radio, there's no radios. I, they don't exist. War beneath the waves. Alright. Which means we need to build up our shipyards. We're already too extensive. Ironclads would drop in price, steamers would balloon in price. I think we're fine where we are with that. More shipyards. So much money. There's so much money. Tractors! Unfortunately, Tractors require engines. I just use less laborers. I don't really want less laborers. Radio. Video kill the radio star. Video kill the radio star. Pictures came and broke your heart. Oh, 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 oh. Poor laws, property women. I could invite them to the workplace. Uh, yeah. Look at that. See what happens from there. My economy is booming. Oh my goodness, look at that. Almost a half a billion pounds. How much are munitions? Not terribly expensive, actually. Munitions, steel mills, all the steel mills, every steel mill there ever were. I am is now a puppet of uh, Scandinavia. Oh, we have an election soon. Against the odds. Oh, I could have made them upset. They're already marginalized. Dang. North Sea. Hundred and one. Well, yeah, I'm gonna take a screenshot of that because that's funny. He's 101 years old. The fascists, the fascists have won. I don't know why, but they did. All right. Well, I uh, 
I'm a little confused. Okay, so the Radical Party plus 19. Or the Fascists plus 19. Let's keep the Fascists there because I think that's funny. Yeah, they don't want that. Ethno <laughs> state. Let's just go way over there. Uh, elected bureaucrats. That would probably be handy. It would make the petite bourgeoisie more powerful. Uh, trade. All right. So suffrages jets killed. Oh, that's unfortunate. Railways are being built. Diplomat, I'm making a large amount of income just from my puppets. They probably don't like that, but whatever. I took over them. It's my right as a bigger, powerful country is to take their stuff. Also, the guy I just appointed to command the North Sea HQ has died. He was a hundred and one, which is crazy. Russia or the Caucasus? Caucasus. Such as it'll matter. Unproductive trade routes. Maybe that. Low market access. Yeah, I'm sure. I need more. More. More trains. What do you want, Champa? I don't feel like that. Alright, past my time. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time on the Dual Monarchy Show. We have uh, taken over more of Africa. We've become huge. We've got a big economy. It's thick. And we are far outpacing Burgundy. Which is great. Because I don't like Burgundy. Uh, our standard of living is a lot lower just because all of our colonies and still a lot of peasants in the homeland. But next time, we'll keep working on making it better. So thanks for watching. Bye.